Hi there, I'm Craig Taylor, Implementation Manager at Smith Cooper System Partners. Everyone makes mistakes, even make the odd mistake myself. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to correct customer and supplier transactions in Sage 200. For data integrity purposes, you can't actually delete transactions once they've been posted. So generally people enter multiple manual transactions uh, to, to reverse things out. Uh, I'm going to show you some standard features which makes this a lot easier for you. So let's, let's get started. So to correct sales or purchase ledger transactions, there are two main areas we can go. Firstly, we can go into the transaction inquiry of either customer or supplier, whichever is relevant. So if we go into the sales ledger, sales inquiries, transaction inquiry, choose the relevant customer, select the transaction we wish to correct, and down the bottom, select the correct button. This will open the main correct transaction screen, but restricted or, or filtered to the individual transaction we've already selected. Okay, I'm gonna close this, and we'll go back to that screen via a different method. So we can also access that screen via the relevant ledger menu option. So again, sales or purchase ledger. We'll use sales ledger as an example. Through sales ledger, we've got adjust transactions. And within here, we've got correct transactions. So again, I can select the relevant customer. And this will list the transactions available. Within this screen, there are three main things we can do. We can reverse transactions, correct transaction details, and we can also amend allocations. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna concentrate on the reverse and correct options. So firstly, reversing. Uh, you do this really when you're looking to delete a transaction that's been entered in error. So this is gonna create an opposite transaction. It'll allocate the two transactions together, so the original and the reversal, and the narrative of both transactions is gonna be updated with the URN of the reversal transaction. So you simply select the transaction from the list, click reverse, the appropriate uh, opposite transaction entry uh, window will appear. So in this case, it's gonna create a credit note to reverse our invoice. You can enter or change the reference details, and then you simply click save. The two transactions are allocated to each other and the narrative is updated. If I just minimize and go into the inquiry screen, you see our original transaction isn't displaying because I'm only showing outstanding transactions. If I come in here, we've got the original invoice and then the credit note reversal. And you can see they're both fully allocated. And if I choose the allocation session drill down, you can see the two transactions are allocated together. So now let's look at the correct option. So you do this if you want to make corrections to an existing transaction. So within the correct transaction screen, select the transaction from the list and click the correct button. This opens the transaction screen and you simply change the details as required. Now you can change all of the information on a transaction, but the correction is handled differently depending on what is changed. So for references and due dates, the original transaction is updated and no further transactions are posted. For other information, such as your goods values, uh, VAT analysis, that sort of thing, a transaction is created to reverse out the original transaction. And these two transactions are allocated to each other. Now the date of this allocation will be today's date, which can have an effect on retrospective reporting if the reason for the correction is due to a future date. There's also the narrative, which is updated on both of these transactions to show which transaction was reversed. And of course, a new transaction is created containing the changes. So we can change the customer account. And if we change a customer account, the defaults are automatically applied to the new transaction. So this includes the VAT code. And as you can see from the prompt, the nominal code. For the new customer. You can of course go through and then change these details if you want to or need to. 
Now it's important to note that you can only change to a customer account that uses the same currency as you can't change the currency of a transaction. Once you've made your change, click post corrections. If we just choose a different transaction, so again, select the transaction and correct. As I say, we can change the nominal code. Just select the new nominal code from the nominal analysis section. We can change the VAT code or add additional details. You of course just have to make sure that the transaction detail section and the VAT totals in the VAT analysis section agree um, to highlight if, if there's an issue there. We can change the amounts. So again, I can change the goods value, but again, you're gonna get prompted if there's any differences between your values. So just choose a different transaction and select correct. So we can also change things such as the nominal code. So you can simply change the nominal code or add additional analysis. In a similar way, you can also change the VAT code. Or again, you could add additional analysis. With these, the key thing is, as always, um, just to make sure that the details in each analysis section agrees back to the details in the transaction section. To change transaction values and amounts, we can just simply enter in the new values. Maybe you want to change the discount percentages or manually type in a discount value. Just be aware that if you change the transaction values and you're posting to multiple nominal accounts, that again, you may see red highlights uh, prompting you of any discrepancies and you need to make sure everything balances up. We can also change transaction dates. The reversal transactions are posted using the original date and the new transaction will be posted with the date that you change it to. Just be aware that if the original transaction was posted to a closed period, the reversal transactions are posted to the next open period. Obviously, if you want to post the correction to the same period, then you just need to remember to reopen the period before making your corrections. Uh, so effectively, it's just the standard counting period principles and rules applying. Finally, you can also change project information if you use project accounting and just select the relevant new project details. Once you're happy, you can click post corrections. Okay, now you all notice within my system that there are transactions listed from sales order processing. And the same applies with the suppliers where you see transactions from purchase order processing. So yes, you can amend these, uh, but what will happen if I select the correct button is the system will give you a warning that the SOP and POP and uh, the stock records are not actually adjusted. So we can amend the sales ledger or the purchase ledger element, but not the commercial module element. So you can see from the warning, you can choose whether or not you wish to continue and make your adjustments, or you can select no. Now in relation to foreign currency transactions, uh, you should be aware that you can only reverse or correct foreign currency invoices and credit notes. So for things like uh, receipts and payments, you need to create the reversing transaction manually and enter the transaction correctly. As I mentioned before, you can't change to a customer account that uses a different currency. Uh, if you are reversing a transaction, the reversing transaction will always use the same exchange rate as the original transaction. If you're correcting a transaction, the new transaction will use the same exchange rate unless you change the customer account in which case the new transaction will use the current system exchange rate. Also, if you're changing the date of a transaction and the customer uses period exchange rates, in this case, the new transaction will use the exchange rate set for the new transaction date. Also, just to be aware, if a transaction has been revalued, the revaluation amount will also be reversed. Okay, so some useful information in terms of the transactions that can't be reversed or corrected. We can't reverse or correct foreign currency receipts or refunds, open balance transactions, receipts entered using SagePay that are partially refunded, 
Uh, any transaction created to correct or reverse another transaction, uh, a transaction that has already been reversed or corrected, or transactions under query. Also not possible to reverse or correct any receipts or payments that are reconciled in the cash book module. Do check out our video about how to unreconcile transactions if needs be. Lastly, you can't correct, but you can reverse refunds, which are base currency, and receipts entered using SagePay. So there we are, we've looked at how to correct sales and purchase transactions in Sage 200. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for weekly updates on all things Sage, and uh, thanks very much for watching.